Hello everyone, this is Matthew from Newell Technology Limited. Last time I made a video about how to install Newell BTS 4000 software and hardware. And today I'd like to introduce how to use our BTS 4000 to test the listen battery. And first, hardware connection of course. Here I have a sample, it is our most normal battery testing system, 5 voltage and 6 ampere. And this one, this is our unit ID, means device ID, and this is the power. We have to switch on the power first, and we hold the battery here. This is for cylindrical battery, like the one, like 18650 and the upper is positive side and this is negative don't connect the negative to positive and this is the universal port it, uh, here we have the cables you can use the cables and connect the polymer battery or prismatic battery but these two you can only use one you cannot use this this channel, this pin, and this universal port together. You can only use one, and this is very easy also. And next, we open the software. We open BTS 7.60. Here, you can change language here, and you have to log in first. I told you the password and the ID last time and we click here this this channel one also means the hardware channel one the channel one here and this here this is the uh, finished station and channel one channel 2 this one means unit 1 and this 2 means channel 2 and this one means unit 2 channel 2 unit 2 channel 3 unit 3 channel 3 and this is the step ID means which step like constant current and constant voltage charges step this is a cycle ID if you set maybe you set 500 cycles and you can see what cycles number in the real time this is step time and this is the real time voltage and this is the real time current and this is the charge capacity if it is under discharge discharging station it will show discharge capacity and this is the unit AH and this is charge energy and here you can set the different step different color here it is during charge we can set red color and when the battery is under charging station the color will be in red color and discharge color we can set yellow and rest condition we can set maybe green and protect protect it maybe this one blue you can set here and this is the different view is big view middle view and small view uh, I prefer big view <laughs> and here if we hold the battery in the first channel we click this channel and right click we click single start if you hold all batteries here, all of these channels are holding battery, you can click all start it's more quickly. You click single single start. And here is two different settings, standard settings and professional settings. I will introduce one by one. And everyone knows if it is the Nissan battery the charge will be the listen battery is charged by 
constant current and constant voltage charge. Here we can set first step we can set a rest maybe just the rest for three minutes or five minutes it depends on you and next we can discharge we use constant current discharge discharge the battery to maybe three three voltage it depends on you and depends on the specification of your battery I'm just showing how to set we use the constant current discharge here and here we can set the end condition maybe time time condition time end condition and voltage uh, here this voltage means uh, the end end voltage cutoff voltage not the real time voltage here we can set 3.0 if you would like to end this step by time you can set here maybe two hours three hours it depends on the specification of your battery and here we set a current maybe one ampe or 0.5 c uh, is okay oh here i forget one thing Actually, you can set the voltage unit or current unit on that channel. I'll show you later. And next, we can set rest also. Because if, because after charging, after charging or discharging, the temperature of the battery is rising, we have to rest for some minutes to cooling the battery. Here we can set 3 minutes or 5 minutes, it depends on you. And next step, we can set constant current and constant voltage charge here. Constant current and constant voltage charge here. <coughs> we set a voltage, maybe 4.2, and the current, we set 1 ampere also. It depends on the specification of your battery also. Maybe 2, maybe 0 0.5. Here we send a stop current. Maybe 0 0.0.4. 0 .4. And okay, here we go. Next time, next step, we can set cycle here from the cycle beginning ID is one and here we set cycle times maybe 10 maybe uh, if you just want to test the capacity I think two is enough but if you want to test the cycle life of your, of your battery if the cycle time of your battery is five 500 you can set 500 if the cycle time of your battery is 1000 you can set 1000 it depends on you here I would like <coughs> to test I've not just tested the capacity of the battery. I just set two, and here we set end. Yeah, it is very easy just uh, for the listen battery capacity testing. Here, this is a professional setting. The difference between the standard setting and professional setting, actually, just the protection and the record condition here we have to set the this one start ID from the first if you like to start with two you can set two or three here I start the step ID one and record time condition actually the highest record condition is 10 hertz one second means one second you can record data for 10 10 or 10 piece 10 piece data here we can set 0 0.1 or 1 second or 10 second but if you set 10 second the data will be smaller but if you set 0 0.1 the data will be bigger i mean this file this, this file will be bigger this is the void voltage record condition or current record condition here I don't set 
this is the safety limit. This is the most important thing you have to set it because the safety first. Because safety first. Here, the voltage lower, just a little lower than the discharge voltage you set. Here, I would like to set 2.9, and the voltage upper, just a little higher than the charge voltage you set a little higher and this current safety limit and capacity up if the capacity of your battery is just uh, 3000 mini ampere mini ans mini h here maybe you can set 3100 it's just in case the safety this is aux safety limit in, actually we have the aux channel is for testing the module the cell in the module and the cell's temperature in the map in the module and the cell's voltage in the mo in the module here you don't have the aux channel so you don't have to set here we can set creator and pn number here and this one you don't have to set actually this 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 file you can save this file to your computer we set on the desktop maybe you can set on the desktop and this is a backup setting you can set here and many of my customers asked me how to re redefine how to define the test data name here you can set <coughs> the data name here maybe Matthew and next time you can search Matthew and plus device ID plus unit ID plus channel ID and you can find the test NDA data easily and here is the file format you can choose NDA or, and, or you can choose Excel and this is the backup condition here I would like to you set the minutes higher than 6 minutes maybe 100 and but don't set 1 minute don't set 1 minute or the NDA file will be very big here we click OK yeah then we can click OK and uh, testing will start. Here I I would like to introduce the difference between standard setting and professional setting. Yeah. For example, if we set CCCV const CCCV step first step and and CC constant current discharge step yeah for example the first step we set the voltage 4.2 and current 1 ampere and you see here step 1 CCC recharge we can set the record condition here just uh, step 1 and the safety limit we can set here maybe yeah here this all condition just step one and step two we set here step two CC discharge yeah we set here so now can you see what is the difference between standard setting and professional setting yes in every in professional setting every step we can set different record condition and safety limit every step yeah th this function is just for some mm, battery materials research I think this one is very useful but if you are just uh, use the standard setting just uh, test the capacity of your battery actually I think standard setting is more easier yes now we click OK this is barcode if you don't have 
barcode, just forget it and click yes. And now it is under rest condition. Yes, the color is gray. It's gray here. It's channel one, step ID. Yeah, this is the Nissan battery test testing. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have some questions, welcome contact me. And I will leave my connect contact phone my message here, my email, my phone number, and my Skype ID, my WeChat ID. And by the way, if you would like to buy more equipment, welcome contact me. Thank you very much.